Hey everyone, welcome to 5 Minute Fridays where we take 5 minutes to close out our week in the Word of God. Today we are going to look at just another immediately after Easter story. Last time we talked about um, doubting Thomas and how even when we doubt, even when we fail to believe in the Savior of the universe, He still comes to us, He still seeks us, and He still loves us. And, you know, some people will talk about the road to Emmaus, those two guys who are walking along on the road, and Jesus appears to them and then reveals who he is as he breaks bread with them. But today, we're actually going to look at Luke's account of Jesus appearing to the disciples and the last words that Jesus speaks to these men. And as we're looking at this story, just to give you some context, because I only want to look at a little bit of what Jesus had to say. Understand they're hiding. Okay, they're scared. They don't know what's coming next. Their rabbi, their teacher has been murdered in front of them. So they're a little nervous, okay? And so Jesus appears to them. And as Jesus is appearing to them, they're like, oh, I don't know if this is really Jesus. Okay, are you a ghost? You look like him, but people don't come back from the dead. And so Jesus is like, nah, it's me. He eats some fish with them. You know, he shows them, yeah, I'm, I'm here. It is really me who is here. And then it tells us that he opened their minds and explained to them the scriptures that, that were about him, what Moses and the prophets had written about him, and how he is the fulfillment of all the Old Testament had to say. And then his final words that Luke records for us to his disciples, that's what I want you to look at. Look at verse 46 through 49. He told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead, and on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And so what he did here is he opened their minds to be able to understand what he was saying. Because he said this to them time and time again. He said, hey, by the way, the Son of Man, going to die. But three days later, he's coming back. It's going to be great. But they didn't get it. And so here in this moment, he has opened their eyes, opened their minds to what it is that he's actually saying. And so as he explains it again, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. They get it. They understand, holy cow, Jesus, that's what you just did. But then as he continues to talk with them, he lets them know, and now that you know that, now that you know that I am who I said I was, that I did what I said I would do, you have a job. A job to go out and tell the world to repent, to turn away from the junk in this world and to turn back to their Father in heaven to receive the forgiveness of sins, the grace that has been earned for them on the cross. But what's so cool about this is the last phrase that Jesus has to say with them in verse 49, just that last little part, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And I love that so much because what it is for us is it's a reminder that one, we have a job to do. Jesus came, Jesus died, Jesus rose again, and now we have the certainty that we will have an eternity with him but we've also been given a mission to go out and let other people know that, to preach the gospel message that he came to share, to repent from from the darkness, the evil, the brokenness, the junk in this world, and to help people see, turn back to God. See the forgiveness he has given to you. See the grace he has earned for you. And see what it is that he has planned for you next. But even as Jesus is saying, this is the job you have, he's also giving them a, a promise, kind of a, a, a fallback, kind of a, an assurance that even though I'm calling you to go do this, to go work, to go uh, harvest, to go accomplish this goal that I have placed before you, wait just a second and let me equip you with exactly what you need to go forth and preach this message. What Jesus is saying here to his disciples and also to us is he's never going to send us out there to preach repentance, to share the grace that Jesus has earned for us without equipping us to do so first. He is going to give you what you need. He is going to empower you with the words you need to say. By the power of his spirit, he is going to put people in front of you that he wants you to engage with, and then he is going to work through you to let them know about the grace that you and I know to be true and so that we can expand the kingdom just one life at a time. And so know that as we go forth, Jesus is with us every step of the way to the very end of the age, 
equipping and empowering us to do his work, to preach repentance and to share his grace. Thank you.